What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today I want to talk quickly kind of about my opinion on the big reveal that we got for the Dark Heart of Skyrim and the Greymoor chapter coming later this summer. And I just kind of want to give you my thoughts in general and kind of how I felt about all of it. I know a lot of people were excited, a lot of people were disappointed. But I think overall it looks pretty interesting. If you have not seen the trailer, I will link it down in the description. You can watch it. It is very a very good trailer. I think it's one of the best cinematic trailers that they have done so far. But overall, of course, we're going back to Skyrim. It's going to have a lot to do with vampires again, which is a neat thing because that's kind of what the game, when you just played uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, that's kind of, you know, kind of the whole theme of the game was the vampire idea. But this is going to have, when we go to Greymoor, we're going to have vampires, werewolves, witches, which I think is a kind of a dark gothic look kind of at the area, which is pretty neat. Of course, we're going to get a complete redo of the vampire skill line, ultimates, passives, all that kind of thing. I think that's needed to be done for a long time now because the vampire is really not useful except for a couple passives now. So I'm glad that they're looking at that. Also, they're going to add something called Antiquities into the game, which is going to kind of make you the Indiana Jones of Elder Scrolls Online. That's how they worded it. It's going to be a thing where you can go to different areas, all the different worlds in, within the game, all the different places, and find different antiques and treasures. Some of these things could be like stuff you could put in your house for furniture. Some of it could be emotes. Some of it could be something uh, kind of involving a mount that you may have to build. Some of it could be one piece gold jewelry sets. There's a lot of different things they're doing with this whole antiquities idea. And I think they're trying to tailor to the solo players and people that don't necessarily play in-game PvE and in-game PvP. And I think players like that need something in the game. Because I know a lot of people say a lot of people step away or a lot of people quit playing the game and are, you know, after a certain point. And that's because a lot of people just do not care about playing in-game PvP or PvE. They want something to do they can, or something they can do solo or something they can do with just a small group of friends. So I think the antiquities idea is a good thing for players like that. And I, I think overall it's going to be good for the community in general kind of in the end. Because we're still going to get dungeons. We're still going to get, uh, you know, some new trials to do within this whole year or the whole chapter from now until the end of the year so I, I'm, I'm looking forward to all the things the game's going to bring and see how many different ways that it reaches out to the different parts of the community overall like i said i know some people are really excited about this and some people are really disappointed i think the biggest thing for me is all of the changes they're doing for stability if those stability changes actually work and everything goes smooth throughout the year and all these stability changes improve the game i think everyone will be happy in the end because I kind of look at this game like I looked at Rainbow Six Siege uh, when it came out. When Siege came out, it was kind of not as popular as they were hoping. They did a lot of work to the game, and then it blew up and has this massive player base. Kind of reminds me of the same of the Elder Scrolls Online. If they can go back and fix some of the stuff that's, you know, problems with connectivity, problems with loading screens. You know, they're even talking about letting us re-download the game and shaving about 30 gigs off of it. There's a lot of big stuff that they're doing. And if all of this improves the game stability in PvE and especially in PvP, I think a lot of people will be happy in the end by the time it's all said and done. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know your thoughts uh, about the whole, you know, kind of dark heart of Skyrim idea, the whole Greymoor chapter. And let me know what your thoughts were about the big reveal. Of course, if you like the video, guys, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. Also, if you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel, and they sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.